mama. <laughs> mama, mama. <laughs> mama, good afternoon. Mama, you're not responding to my greetings, Mama. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mama, I, I went out. On my way coming back, I saw these beautiful wrappers. And I know you will love them. So I decided to buy them for you. <laughs> you said that you went out and you saw these wrappers and decided to buy them for you. Yes, Mama. And they're expensive. <laughs> yes, Mama. How much did you buy them? <laughs> Mama, I, I, I bought them 10,000. Eh? That means 30,000. Yes, Mama. Hey! Mama, listen, listen, listen. Anything for you. Hmm? You know you're my expensive mother-in-law to be. So anything expensive, I can get it for you without estating. Hey! <laughs> I said it. This girl wants to finish my son's money. See the way you are lavishing my son's money. Eh? Squandering his money. You went and bought this thing. 10,000. 10, that means 30,000. From whose pocket, man? Mama. Eh? Did I do anything wrong in you? I'm asking you from whose pocket? Because I know that you're not doing anything. Ever since I stepped my feet inside this my son's house, I've never seen you going to work. Neither have I seen you doing any business. So where did you get the money? You used in buying this thing for me. Mama, at least you should learn to tell someone thank you. Learn to say thank you for once, Mama. And why will I tell you thank you? Where you have thrown my son to your ATM. Where you go and withdraw hey. any amount of money you want to. Mama, Mama, it's not like that now. I'm trying, I, I'm, I, I'm trying to make you happy, Mama. Mama, please accept it. I bought it from my heart. Do you know what? Let me go in there and change to a better clothes. You are going to take me to that place you bought this thing. I'm going to return them back so I can collect back my source money. This is getting out of hand. Mwah! Stand up. Mama, you don't mean it. I said stand up, let's go and return it. You are, you are telling me, Mama, I don't mean it. Stand up. Or, anyway, let me go and change. I'm ready for you. If you want one, I'm going to give it to you.
Stella. Stella. Mama. Who removed the clothes I dropped on top of my bed? I know that it can't be my son. Because my son has nothing to do with clothes. Who removed it? Mama, it's me. What are you doing with my clothes? I I noticed they were dirty, so I decided to wash them for you. Hey! You noticed my clothes. You are dirty. I decided to wash since when? Anyway, there is no problem. What do you use to wash them? Is it with your hands or with washing machine? Which of them? With my hands, Mama. Eh? You! You use your hands to wash my clothes. Hey! hey. Wonder shot, Martin. Stella, wait, so let me ask you. Which of the detergent did you use? Is it the powdered one or the tablet? I'm not powdered one. Hey! You use the powdered one to do what? Eh? To wash your clothes, Mama. But you know that I don't use a powdered tablet to wash my clothes. Mama. Wait, let me ask you. Who sent you to wash my clothes? Eh? You have damaged my clothes, oh. Get ready to replace them. Wait, oh. I can't remember sending you to wash my clothes. Not to talk of using powder detergent to wash my clothes. But, Mama, that is what we use in washing clothes in this house. You and eh? who? Have you been washing my clothes for me? Do you know detergent I normally use my use to wash my clothes? Hey. What's that, Mama? Busybody. If you like, wash the whole of this house. My son, Hilary, will not marry you. Mama, you want to get married? Ah, get out. Mama, I was only helping you. Don't help me again. First I help, I don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> to help again is now a problem. Yeah. What is it? I am sick and tired of your mother's behavior in this house. I'm tired. What is it? I buy her clothes. She complains. I, I cook. She complains. I wash. She complains. She complains over everything. What does she want me to do? Huh? I am tired. Enough of all this. Why are you two acting like kids? Huh? The earlier you and Mama started seeing each other as mother-in-law and daughter-in-law, the better for all of us. Is that all you have to what say? What exactly do you want me to say? What else do you want me to say? I've not married you yet and this is all I get all the time. Imagine when I marry you into the house, what is going to happen? I'm sure this house will be, will be turned upside down. Larry, oh, I am now the devil. Stella is now the devil, while your mother is a saint. Larry, when will you be a man? When will you be a man and tell your mother to her face that she is wrong? When? Before you walked in here, I was busy. Okay? I would like to return to what I was doing. Oh, I, I wasn't expecting anything less. But now listen, let me tell you one thing. Nothing, I mean nothing, will ever separate you and I, not even your mother, nor Brenda. I'm sick and tired of all this. What is this?
Okay. Ella. Ella, I have done everything you told me to do. Just to please that woman, but she's so difficult. Yeah, I... What is wrong with her? Why is she just like that? Anyways, let's forget about her. Yes, I think Brenda is a problem now. How? You know, the Bible made us understand that right from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And it's only the violence that take it by force. Do you know what it means? You need to stand to your feet and take that thing that belongs to you by force, by eliminating Brenda. What? What is what? Ella. Ella, what did you just say? Do you want me to be jailed for life? Come on. Come on, baby girl. Stop being childish here. All you need to do is just to buy a bottle of wine. Yes. Pretend as if you're going to celebrate her birthday. Pin poison it. My dear, nobody would know. Yes. That's the only way you can have Hillary to yourself. Why are you looking at me like that? serve to you <coughs> to be my man to be my man my one like oh my god so 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 beautiful thank you thank you so much what's a special occasion very very cheap I think it's a man Tell me your truth. Seriously. Yeah. You're going to see Larry. This poor How can you wake up this beautiful woman? You took your time to dress that the queen that you are, just to go and see that, that stupid man that shattered your heart. Oh on. Yes, he shattered my heart. Yes, he hurt me so badly. But I still feel something for him. Oh. Really? You still feel something for him? Okay, now tell me. What happens to Eric? What happens to a man that took his time to pick your broken pieces to show you what the true meaning of love is? This guy genuinely cares for you. And you're just going to, 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 to let him down just because of someone that doesn't even value you. Come on, seriously. You can't do this to Eric now. Well, if if you think going to see Larry is the best decision for you, then there's no problem. You can go. I wish you could go. You may not for my heart. How can you do this now? Did you know how amazing you smell? <laughs> just want to ravish you and eat you off. <laughs> Look at you. Come on, baby. I'm all yours. Yeah, I know, right? Mm. Take it easy. <laughs> no problem. You're by my side, so I can't fall. <laughs> no, you can't fall. I am your guiding angel. <laughs> and I'll do everything and anything. <laughs> come here, come 
was that? Were you expecting someone? I don't know. I'll check. Uh, okay. All right. I'm coming. One minute. <laughs> What's up? Who was that? I... I've checked, but I... I couldn't see anyone. I don't know who was that. Ah. But I heard a knock on the door. <laughs> Never mind. Okay? <laughs> you just hold me badly. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's continue from where we start. From where we start. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> You know what? Mm. What? Mm. I will never lose you. Right? No. Never. <laughs> you have me, then I have you. Mm. That sounds so sweet. I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm not sure if what I'm doing is even the right thing. That's right. Listen to me right now. The only right thing to do now is to reciprocate the love Eric has been showing to you. Can't you see? Eric is such a nice man. And this guy is very, very, very hard to find. And maybe you have one. Right in front of you. You said to just hold him, love him, and cherish him. You'll get crying. If I excuse someone. Why can't I just, just stop myself from thinking about Larry? I know Eric is a nice man. But I'm only scared of what it's another half. Season, well, how else? How else do you want Eric to show you that he really cares about you? If you, if you listen to me, I think the only right thing you should do for yourself now is to completely embrace every thought of Larry from your head. Please, now. But I feel like Larry is still lost in me. I could see in his eyes the day he saw me at Eric's house. He feels like he has realized his own mistakes. I, I can feel it. Since you look okay, you look okay like my sister. What has that guy done to you? And do you need a sweet to tell you that Larry never loved you and he will never love you? Please, a man that broke up with you just because you cautioned him on how he's not taking proper care of his parents and you think he loves you. Let me tell you, let me tell you the very, very simple truth is Larry doesn't love you and he will never love you. And any man that cannot take care of his family Especially his mother can never take care of your wife. You touch the blue lenses. See, you're very tired, you just remember. Nice. Stop it, Tyrus. Cheryl, please. 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 Honestly, my man is a perfect man. <laughs> he treats me like a queen. Show me with gift. <laughs> I even serve me breakfast. Oh, baby! Please! <laughs> Isn't she lucky? <laughs> Stella, my dear Stella. You're so lucky to have such a charming man. Show us your sense of love and respect. You can say that again, Delvin. Anyway, have you heard from Larry? What is it? Oh, baby. Stella, it's really difficult to get to know the Larry. I mean, the more I try to erase him from my head, I just can't get over everything we share. I just can't forget about everything. She would do that. Like, nothing will last to see. What happened? Tell me. Like, come on! We are friends! Come on! Speak out. 
I foolishly went to his house. Yes, I did. I even knocked on the door just as he was about to open the door. And the chicken dog ran away really because I wasn't so sure I was making the right decision. Oh my goodness. Yes, I Your personal life and fought her way. <sighs> Come on, don't say that. You know that Stella and I have been best friends since childhood. I don't think she's coming here to fought her way. Besides, I'm happy for her so <laughs> Really? So who comes here to get every information about your personal life? Who you're dating, who you're going out with, and have refused to give even the most tiniest information about her, her friends, or even her wedding plans. Come on, sis. Are you sure this girl is engaged? Or is she engaged to be pushed? She is. Ah ah. You know, everyone is entitled to their personal life. You don't you expect her to share something that she clearly says is a surprise. I just wait. Be patient. She's not anything she needs. 
é como o tempo é que eu sou Tá? Não, não é só isso. Só que eu não vou fazer aqui para que eu sou melhor. Isso, quando eu estou muito tarde, eu estou muito sure, eu estou muito feliz, eu estou muito convencido que eu não sou só isso. Mas eu não sei que eu sou melhor. Please, every woman wants a man. Now, I'm always standing for her. At any time, here I am thinking about how secure my future will be, going after my own stress. I understand. Just take it easy now. Please. I don't know what you want to do. <laughs> How are you, baby? I'm good. I got you something. Really? Yes. Wow. You're so sweet. I'm always so You know that. <laughs> what? You don't like it? I I love it. I mean, this is this is a thoughtful gift. Okay. But how are you able to guess my size? Come on, babes. How can you even ask me this question? Hmm? How can I not know the size <laughs> of my darling's succulent breast? <laughs> this is something I go down to every morning. I know, I know right? <laughs> but you know you deserve some accolades because there are men out there who don't know the size of their spouse's hands. Well, that's for them. That's for me. I know every inch <laughs> of this body. <laughs> Thank you so much for the gift. You're welcome. Guess what? Mm. I need your favorites. So just sit down and get your food. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you're for such this. a darling. I'll see you soon. You're such a darling. <laughs> I love you, you know? I love you too, baby. <laughs> still have Brenda's on this, under this roof. Larry! Shut up! You liar! I mean, what have I done? Why do you keep making me feel inferior? Why do you keep making me feel like I don't deserve you? she have that I don't have?
Brenda. Please be my wife. No. Hi, <laughs> God. Okay. I'll walk majestically. Eric, what do you think you're doing? Please. Eric, are you normal? Please. What do you think you're doing? Eric, stop it! Both of you just, just stop it already! Brenda, sis! Brenda! Are you watching? Are you normal? So who was taking you back? What is wrong with you? You're a liar! I said you're a liar. She's not taking you back. Eric, she's not taking you back. You're supposed to be my friend. What is wrong? She's not taking you back. I'm telling you, really what? After all, she trusts you, have to? Never. Never! Nigga, I said never. Listen to me. What do you think you can come to me right now? You've been through a lot. I promise you, I will get her back. You know what? You've lost very long time. <laughs> Wake up! Wake up from your sleep! She's mine. I'm about to put you in her feet. Do not be out of there. Thank <laughs> you. 
just Two men, and I don't know who to give my heart to. Two men? What, what do you mean? I don't understand. You and Eric have been seeing each other. So which other man are you talking about? Darling, can you believe that? He came in here and apologized Just as I was about to forgive you, Eric brought him to me and said, What? You mean Larry came to you apologizing? Yes. Is everything okay? Uh, uh, oh, yes. Uh, everything is fine. I mean, but Brenda, you're about to make another mistake of your life. And I, and I, I wouldn't want that for you. Come on, as if you don't know. Larry has been treating you bad. He even said the other day to your face that you don't, you, you, you don't want anything. And you are here telling me you want to give him another chance to finish the remaining pieces of your life? Come on, girl. Simply because he was shedding crocodile tears, you want to give him another chance. Stella, it's not crocodile tears. It was real. I could see it in his eyes. He's really a changed person. And you believe that? No, brother, you think that is enough reason for you to give him another chance in your life because he shed a fair tears to you. Brenda, so this is why I have you. That's why I need you to advise me what to do. Ah, see, um, the only advice I have for you is that um, Eric is, a, is the right person for you, yes. And just, just let me go. Hmm? He's not a good man for you. Can't you see? Babe, open your eyes now. Why are you blind? Eric is a good guy for you. You can see the way he treats you like, like a gold. Just a certain and let Yes, so mama. She did not accept me. Yeah. She was just at the verge of accepting me before my friend walked in to propose to her. Yeah, Mama, it's Eric. I was even shocked myself. <laughs> Mama, let me you call you back. You shameless here. dog that goes back to eat excreta. So you think you can keep me in this house and sleep with me whenever you feel like? Stella, watch it. No, you wish it. And shut up! So you actually think you can go to Brenda's house and beg her, plead with her to come back into your life, and you think I wouldn't know? Is that what you think? Stella, I have told you severally that I do not want you staying in this house any longer. Pick your bill on this and leave my life for good. Oh no, you lie! Can you please shut up for once? Now, let me tell you one thing. I will not stay alive and watch another woman come into this house. Not even Brenda. 
Do you understand? And I want you to know one thing, Mr. Man. You and I will remain together and no one will separate us. Do you understand? Get that into your skull, your dull brain, rubbish! Oh. Hey, what's up? What's the meaning of this? Meaning of what exactly? You served me pieces of papers with Brenda written on it as dinner. <laughs> you wanted Brenda, isn't it? So I just served you a plate of Brenda. So um, finish your food and drink your water. Hmm? <laughs> Is this fair, Stella? How can you be treating me like, like a beggar in my own house? Larry, what is fair? Is it you treating me like a piece of rock? Making my life miserable for me in this house? Making me look stupid as it's fair to you? No, tell me! You know what? Like I said, finish your food and drink your water. Period. If not, from now on, if you're not treating me right, you will never eat any food cooked by me. Mm? Finish your food, my darling. Start eating. No. Ah. Hey. I should feed you. Useless man. Come, let me. Come back and eat your food, though, before you will start starving your own house. Nonsense. You want to try um, Stella? <laughs> I haven't seen anything yet. I'm not done with you. Larry! 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 What are you doing in my house? What are you doing in your house? What was that you displayed? That nonsense you displayed at Brenda's house? Huh? Huh? Hmm? It's obvious. Are you blind? I went there to propose to my girl. Blame <laughs> Just take a good look at you. Take a very good look at yourself. Larry, you sleep with everybody. Stella, I'm still watching Brenda at the same time. How's that possible? Huh? Shame on you, Larry. Very big shame on you. You know I have Larry, I think you're sitting here. This kid literally did everything for 
you sacrifice your king out because of you. Now. Oh, father, that money we is supposed to collect from July. You know, come pick him again. Eh? Well, he says he's gonna send it tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, this is taking <laughs> too much time now. Womanizers. You people should be ashamed of yourselves. Look at them. And you, you. We are talking about See, we are finishing this thing. We are done. Brenda, is this you? Where have you been? I've been asking after you. Really? Yes. I've been fine. Besides, Larry knows where to find me. Eh? And he refused to tell me all this why. Brenda, my daughter, please. I want to ask you for one thing. Okay? Please find a place in your heart to forgive my son. In any way he has wronged you. Okay? If not for any other thing, for my sake. Did you believe that I lost my husband just because of you? Yes. You mean Papa is dead? He's dead. He died of heart attack. Oh on hearing that you are no longer together with my son. I'm so sorry, Mama. It's okay. I'm so sorry, I didn't know. It's okay. Please. I'm sorry. Come back. I need you back in my son's life. Please. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Promise me that you come back. I'll think about it. Promise me you come back. Okay, I promise. Thank you. I feel so guilty knowing that my father died because of me. Who's this? You don't have to feel guilty. Trust me, it's really not your fault that he died. It is. He died when he found out that Mary dumped him. After insisting that we get back together. <sighs> Please. Larry's parents accepted me to their home the very first day they said they found me. And for that reason, I feel like I should give Larry a chance back into my mom. Oh, I really don't know what you say. At this point, I, I just feel whatever you think is right for me. You should go ahead and do it. Well, you should think letting Larry back into your life will make you happy. You have my support. You have me this. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me. 
I'll suggest you just give her a little space so she can get herself back together and make the decision. Is it going to happen this way from her? Oh, okay, no problem, you can. Thank you. Uh, should I get you water? Mm, fine, fine, fine. fine. Alright, I'll be inside. Okay. Let me then be. Food. What is it? Are you okay? I'm not hungry. Oh, no, don't tell me that. Um, see, um, see, I'm, I'm deeply sorry. I'm so sorry for everything I put you through. Please. I'm sorry, please. Can you please forgive me? See, I, 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 I promise it won't, it won't happen again. Uh, Trust me. I, I promise to be loyal. Stella, is everything okay? This is unlike you. I know. You apologize for your wrongdoings. Pepsi, I'm so sorry. Deep down inside my heart, I, 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 I know I've, I've, I've hurt you a lot. Please forgive me. It will never happen again. I promise to be a loyal woman to you. I promise to be humble. I promise to do whatever you want me to. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. It's okay. Stand up. Stand up, darling. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Um, okay. Just sit. Have a seat. Don't worry. Sit. Let me bring your food. Hmm? Please to eat. Who's that? You expect me? Stella, what are you doing here? Oh no! I should be the one asking you that question. What are you doing in my fiance's house? You've always wanted to know him, right? Now you know. <laughs> My love. How did you do this, Stella? You're supposed to be my friend. My best friend and you stab me in the back? What did you say? Your best friend? Brenda, come on! See, I owe you no explanation to this. You, do, do, do you get it? I mean, I owe you no explanation. So don't just stand there and say rubbish. Who did Francis Chaiku? For crying out loud. 
I'm about to come to you to discuss my relationship. I begged you. I begged you to bring Larry and I together and this is this is all you could do. Really? Brenda. You're worse than a devil. Shut up! He is now your ex. It's better you get that into your into your head. Don't listen to her. Brenda, you know what? You didn't see any other person, but my friend Ali! You were rotting him. I said leave! My God. Get out! Oh. My love. <laughs> Don't mind her. She you know love you, right? Hmm? Look at me. Baby! <laughs> My love, look at your food. You, you, you have to eat. Babe. <laughs> you know I love you and you love me too, right? Baby, my love. <laughs> Just hold me. <laughs> Babe, please don't do this now, please. My love. My love, I, 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 I can't wait to lose you. I, I, I don't ever want to lose you. I love you so much. Please look into my eyes and tell me you love me too, please. You, you, you promise me you will forget about her, so I, 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 I love you. <laughs> Brenda, what's your problem? Huh? What happened? Eric, what's the meaning of this? What did you do to Brenda? What do you mean by what I did to Brenda? What happened to Brenda? Brenda slept in her house. I asked her. She said she's just coming down from your place. Yes, she was at my place. But I don't understand what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hey, Larry, if anything, ha, Larry, if anything should happen to Brenda, you have me to content with. I swear to God. Eric, listen to me. If something has happened to Brenda, what we should be doing right now is rushing her to a hospital. Not fuming and throwing a tantrum. Okay? Get into the car and let's go to her house. Get into the car. Oh, I'm 
Ich habe noch eine Frau und Hoffnung. Ich habe meine Kinder. Und du bist ein Fliegst. Das ist schade, Frau Lassi. Ich werde ja nicht mehr auf meine Familie Bote mir. Ich muss auch dann nach dem Baum kosten. Ich muss schon das Scheiß. Aber das war zu Ende. 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 Comfortable, like you're relaxed, living with your ex's girlfriend, and feeling comfortable. You think that is okay? Yeah? You think it's okay? Depriving another woman's happiness and you're feeling good. God. Are you even listen to yourself? <laughs> you know you're the one that is a very wicked human being. I don't understand. Are you okay? What kind of friend are you? The only woman that means so much to me and you want to take her away from me and you call yourself my best friend? What are you talking about? Ah. Larry. Larry. You dumped Brenda a long time ago. Yeah. You didn't you? You did. You even told me to go ahead. I should go ahead and take Brenda. You don't even need. You're not even longer interested. Look at you. Now, the same person you pushed away. Huh? You're not coming back. I did not dump Brenda. So what did you do? Listen to me. We mm -hmm. only had issues. <laughs> what we had okay. was just issues which every normal couple have. <laughs> okay? The only problem I have right now is that Stella does not want to leave my house. I don't know. I think she bewitched me. Thank <laughs> <Is that>, God. <laughs> Stella bewitched you. Just you're very good looking at yourself. A full grown man that I believe to. I think you need to go see a pastor for the good man. But as for Brenda, nigga, I'm not leaving Brenda for you. Brenda till I die. Feel me? Honestly, Stella, what you just said and the way things are going now, I would advise you just gather the things you can lay your hands on. Yes, you cannot just go out from that house empty handed. And you know, if I were you, I would eliminate Brenda. You know, she has been your worst nightmare. So, yes, you cannot just go empty handed. You need to do this thing and do it right. Before you be thrown out. All right, do take care of yourself, eh? I, I was about going out. I'll call you later. Yesterday. No, she didn't. She didn't sleep at home. 
Not anymore, this boy went. Stella, she's my friend. Please let me go, please. Please, brother. Please let me go. Please help me. I didn't do anything. Mama, mama. Stella. Mama, mama, you don't show. Stella, please, please tell them that we are friends. Please tell them to let Shut me up. Am I really your friends? <laughs> Brenda. Brenda. <laughs> Brenda, this is the end of the road for you. No, no, please. And I will make sure you die a miserable death. What are you saying? Why are you doing this to me, Stella? Stella, you touch me again, I will slap the hell out Stella. of you. Are you mad? She's my friend, I took you in. Shut up! up. My own sister, my dad, my late dad took care of your education, and this is how you pay me back. Oh, so she's my friend. She's my sister. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> when Mama did talk, Brenda, I'll prefer you shut up and save yourself those sermon. Brenda, oh, simply because your father paid one semester of my school fees. You now feel you can count that for me? Brenda, what about me? I wrote your test. <laughs> I wrote your exam. <laughs> you even turned me into a slave in writing assignments for you. <sighs> Brenda, what did you do? <laughs> you snatched my man. My Larry away from me, and you think he can go scot free? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Please, please let me go. Please, did you touch me? Maybe you said, Please, stop. Do they touch me? Please, help me. Help me. Help me. Do they touch me? Do they help me? Please, help me. Shut up. My God. Shut up. I said, Shut up. Shh, shut up, you shut, shut up! You know what? Brenda! <laughs> Brenda! The answer is now! The answer is mama! Brenda! Yes, yes. You can't talk to me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. This is my payback time. You know what to do with her? Mama, mama. you die. I'll send the, your remaining balance. Just call me. Please, don't. Please don't leave here, please. Stay mama! Ah. 
his mama never send our balance. So. How long it will take him to send us more money? Huh? Now, wow! My color. My color. Oh. He likes he will risk you. He go risk it to color. I think I said that test. My son and test. Okay, my son and test.
you know, I did not come here to to fight or throw a tantrum like I usually do. I came here to have a heart to heart talk with you. I have realized that that I messed up big time. I should have listened to you and not call it quits with Brenda when I did. But I was, I was blinded by my ego. Even when she was doing the right thing. I mean, look at me. I'm living in a mansion and my parents were living in a call it a touch house or a bacha or something. I had the money to give them a good life. But no, I did not. And all Brenda was advising me was to do the right thing by them. Give them a good life. But no. I was just manipulated by my ego. And there was Stella. The Jezebel who came around and wowed me with her body. Deceived me. I can't even tell if I was under a spell or something. I was totally wrong. Eric? You have proven to me that you are a real man. And I'm sorry. I am sorry. Sorry about what I made you go through and what I made Brenda go through. I don't deserve her. You have shown the true character of a real man. And you deserve Brenda. You deserve her. You two deserve each other. I wish you good luck, my man. Come on, brother. <laughs> hey, I appreciate that. What are friends for? Do I right by her? And if you fuck up, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Fuck you up real good. <laughs> Got you, bro. This means a lot to me. It's okay. Thanks a lot. Go get her. My mom lied. <laughs> 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 I said yes. Yes, yes. She said yes. <laughs> 